In this video, we're going to look at how to control the colour of your fixtures on the Flex S consoles. To do this, first of all, you need to push up the channel faders of your lights. Doing this has opened several tabs along the top of the touchscreen to allow you to control your lights. This is because channels are automatically selected when you push their faders up. However, you can change the selection manually by using the channel select buttons under the faders. Only the fixtures which are selected with their buttons lit will be affected. Pressing the colour palettes tab will show you automatically created colours for your lights. The palettes highlighted in blue are for your currently selected fixtures. You can apply these colour palettes to your light by simply tapping them. Another way of controlling the colour of your fixtures is by using the colour picker. Press that and you're presented with a colour picker image. In there you can then go and press and this will apply that colour to your lights. You can also use multi-touch on this colour picker. So press one finger on there and then with another finger spread that colour across your lights. Down the left of the colour picker screen, we've got some preloaded images that you can use to apply quick colours to for your lights. Below these images, there's also a plus symbol. Pressing that and you'll be able to load your own image in from USB that you can then grab colours from. You can use these images in exactly the same way we did the colour picker, in that you can use multi-touch on them and grab colours from it. FlexS also has mood boards by Lee Filters. Opening the Mood Boards tab will show you several different groups of colours that Lee Filters have prepared that work well together on stage. Whenever you're in any three of the colour tabs, the encoder wheels will have your colour controls of your fixtures. So this may be individual red, green, blue control of your fixtures. If there are more than four colour controls available for your lights, pressing the same tab again will cycle through the different pages of colour control your lights may have. Once you've created a colour you like, maybe using the colour picker, you can then save that colour. To do this, we record a colour palette. Press record and you'll immediately jump back to your colour palette screen. You can then scroll down and there will be several locations marked with an asterisk. Tap in these and your colour palette is saved. You can now use your recorded colour palette in the same way you did your previous ones. Tap it and that colour will be applied straight to your lights. On the Flex S24, you can have a maximum 48 palettes. On the Flex S48, you can have 96 palettes. Flex S consoles have built-in effects that can be used with your fixtures. To apply a colour effect to your lights, first of all, you need to turn your lights on. You can do this by pushing up their faders. This will automatically select them and open up tabs. You can change the selection by manually tapping the select buttons under the channel faders. The last tab that's opened along the top of the touchscreen is the effects tab. Press this and you'll be presented with several automatically created effect palettes. Going in and tapping one of these will apply it to your lights. The currently highlighted effects palettes are ones that are compatible with your currently selected lights. When you apply an effect straight away, all the lights will be doing exactly the same thing, but you're able to offset and fan and spread that effect across the currently selected lights. To do that, you can use the offset buttons along the top of the screen. So you can, for example, offset that individually. So it will spread that rainbow across your lights. When in the effects tab, our encoders have changed to adjust our effect. So for example, we can speed the effect up. In a later video, we'll look at how to store these colours into playbacks.